Yep. Back out here. We still didn't take the metal out from the plasma guy, but what we got here. These are like Jeep rock sliders or something. They got kind of beat up. Damn, they're heavy. And a fender from something. Damn. Those things feel like they're 50 pounds a piece. What is this, a Jeep? Looks like it. Newer Jeep. And a microwave, which is super sticky. Gross. But, I'll tell you what, the air conditioner in this truck just cranks. I can't even aim the vents at me, it's so cold. Jeez. <laughs> Well, welcome back. We'll see what we get into. Hopefully, we can find some a little bit of treasures out here. Something it's super dry lately, that's for sure. Man, this truck's got reverse. <laughs> that thing in the box. Let's go look, I guess. It's like a kid's piano. Eh, I don't see nothing worth taking. Ooh. Cooking oil. Running your Mercedes. Always got good stuff. All right. What do we got here? Old muffler, lawnmower blade. Wow, that's rounded out, huh? Irony aluminum. Is this injectors? Ooh, no, that's brass. Look at that. That's sink. Man, we're finding some good stuff. It's about time we found something out here. Sweet. Oh, we just broke that. <laughs> Take that easy up since it's folded up. What is this piece of aluminum? Well, looks like the cord cutter's still out here, huh? Guess we'll leave it. I ain't getting a cord off, it ain't worth grabbing, really. Day, but at least we're finding stuff. This is a steel. Still got some gas in it. <laughs> Looks like it's been outside for about three years. Well, that got cut short. <laughs> Apparently, my brake's hanging up. I don't know why. Definitely is though. Phew! She's hot. I hope it didn't warp them. These are brand new rotors. I don't know why this thing's dragging. 
I guess we gotta take the wheel off and see what's going on with this thing. Cut our trash picking short. Started smelling fish tacos, and I'm like, what is this? Is somebody burning up a clutch? Nope. It's me. <laughs> I guess we know what we're doing today. Taking a wheel off. Seeing what's going on. This side feels fine. Hopefully it's just the sliders. I did change the rotors on here but I, and pads, but I didn't do anything with the calipers. Hopefully it's just the sliders. It didn't warp it. We'll see. Whew, that thing is on fire. Yeesh. <laughs> Not really sure what's going on here. I mean... Oh, that's weird. I guess the rotor probably got warped. That sucks, man. These are brand new. Huh. Still a big rot hole in the frame. <laughs> the heck did you do to me over here? Now, still gotta let it cool down a little bit. It's too hot. I can barely touch it still. Pads are brand new on this thing. I don't think it's the sliders because. They seem really loose. I guess the caliper's hanging up. It's kind of strange. Hmm. I don't know. So I have to take it apart and see what's going on. It doesn't really, it's not really grabbing it too hard. But it was definitely smoking. I wonder if the uh, the line is collapsing inside i've had that happen a lot of times with brakes that the rubber hoses will start to collapse inside and they'll let pressure pass when you hit the brake pedal but then it it doesn't really bleed back real quick and it hangs up sometimes it doesn't bleed back at all i guess we hit the brakes a couple times and if i can even open the door how twisted it is Jam it up. Oh yeah. Yep. I can't even turn it now. Ugh. It's either the caliper or the line. I bet it's the line. Hmm. All right. Got some spare parts over here, but look at that line. That thing's all busted. That's an old one. Thought I had some new ones over here, but it doesn't look like it. I guess I'm gonna have to order some. See what's going on with that. Well, see if this bleeder relieves pressure. Feels like it did. Mm. Hmm. That's weird. I wonder if just the pads are hanging up. I guess I'll take it apart and grease it and see what happens. Let's go 
pump the brakes one more time, see? Oh yeah, I guess the actual pads are hanging up. I guess I should have greased them a little bit better, huh? Mount me? <laughs> Hopefully it didn't warp the rotor. Another 100 degree day today. Let's see if we can get these pads unstuck. It's definitely not the caliper. I thought the calipers were okay on this truck. They pushed in really easy. Never had a problem with them yet. I probably just didn't grease them enough, being too hasty. Also, I don't, I need to get some more, uh, they make, uh, like, brake grease that's got Teflon and all this other stuff in it. It helps with the heat. It stays on there with the, with it getting hot. I probably just used regular axle grease. That's all I got here today. I cooked it off of there already. These bags are brand new. They're all this stuff's going on here. It ain't hanging up at all. These things getting stuck in the clips. Sometimes it helps to just give it a little sanding on the edges here sometimes. Sometimes these pads are not. I guess we should have replaced the hardware too, huh? <laughs> <coughs> oh well, I'll get a wire brush, clean these up real good, clean this up real good here. Put it back together, try all of these. Hopefully I didn't hurt the, hurt the rotor. I tried to drive back without hitting the brake, so. Uh, I got it all greased up. These are, this one moves really good. This one, I, God, I almost feel like it's too stiff. Probably should sand it a little bit still. It does move, but not that easy. It does get pretty jammed in there. I don't know, I kind of don't want to take too much material off of it. I guess I'll just put it in there and see what happens again, keep an eye on it. Sometimes it is worth it to sand these just a little bit. You know, they got powder coating on them and paint or whatever. And that little bit of coating can make a big difference on how stiff they are. How stuck they get. We need to get this one back in there now. Come on. We went in there twice before. There you go. Still gotta give it a little, a little bit of a tap, but I don't know. I guess we'll run with it, see what happens. Start smelling fish taco again, we know what it is. <laughs>
I'm going to hit the brakes a couple times to see if it releases the rotor. Oh, okay, that's better. That should be a lot better. We might have warped that rotor a little bit, but we're going to have to run it. I ain't buying a new one. I do actually need to change this air conditioner belt too. That thing's squealing. I got it as tight as I can get it. But this power steering one's probably good. I probably should change that alternator one too. I think I got some belts down back. Maybe I'll go look now that I got this thing in here. Probably should do a little bit of maintenance to it. Get some new belts on there because doesn't look like it's going to cool off anytime soon. <laughs> Definitely going to need that air conditioner. This new radiator is doing great though. I got, I'm glad I got the thicker one, not the real skinny one. It keeps that temperature way down there, even with the AC cranking. So it's good. As long as the wheels keep moving and don't get stuck. deer running. I might have some belts in here. That's one. I'm not sure if it's the right one or not, but we'll take it up there see what we can figure out. Uh, it's a tiny belt. set of frontier taillights in here. Alright, go check the other side, see what see what we're doing here. I know I got some kicking around. I'm not sure. This this truck's a V6, so this might not work for anything I need, but something tells me they're they're pretty much the same configuration. Mostly. We got any more in here? Set of floor mats. What is this? Air freshener. Air steering pump. Alright, I guess that's the only one we got. Maybe it'll work. It's kind of a cheap one. Might just get some heavy duty ones to put on there. Since that truck's going to be a keeper. Pretty sure this is a power steering belt by running the number. So the air conditioner belt's probably on, on the truck itself. I don't feel like taking it off of the other truck, so I guess I'm just gonna order some new ones. Might as well get some heavy duty ones. That way they'll last a while. The, the alternator and the, uh, as you see here, the alternator's pretty much maxed out. And so is the air conditioner. That thing's maxed out for sure. But, we'll see what else we get into today. At least we got the brake to get unstuck and we can drive it again. Go do some errands with the AC. Yeah. Oh, we're rolling down the hill. That's good. Alright, y'all. Gotta go run some errands. Hopefully we can get out on the street and do some more trash picking here in the next couple weeks.
All right, hit that thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Later.